It's beer o'clock on Real Ale Craft Beer. Today we're going to be taking a look at a can of Perla Export. This beer is coming in at 5.6% ABV in a 500 milliliter can. It's brewed at the brewery in Lublin, which is south east Poland, kind of down in the corner a little bit. I've heard all about Lublin. Uh, there was a famous beer called Lublin to Dublin made by Brava Pinta over there in Poland. Um, my good friends over there at Brava Pinta. Uh, so without further ado, let's get a look at this Perla Export. Uh, let's get it out into a glass, see what we get. What I find really interesting about this beer is one side of the can. Well, no, it's all, it's all in English. It's all in English, so... This beer has been brewed for probably Polish expats who made their way to the UK for work and then the beer probably got that popular with the Polish expats that the British people start buying it and, and of course we want to read some of the fantastic kind of things that the brewery want to say about this beer. A full light premium beer. It's, it's pretty cool to see that it's, it's in English. Um, since 1846. Now I'm going to review, the reason why I mention this, um, I'm going to review a can of Perla Pills. I bought it in the same shop over the road, but this is not for the export market, so everything's in Polish. So, I, I can't really say, I can't really read anything on the side of the can, which that it's so refreshing to see that, yeah, there's a little bit of English on the can. Right, okay, apart from all of that, one finger white head, good levels of carbonation, clear, light, straw-coloured beer, lovely even carbonation. Now, let's get the aroma on this clear-looking beer. I'm picking up quite a bit of malt. Now I'm having a bit of a Polish beer jaunt today. Um, I just finished reviewing the Nami Slaw Pills, which this brewery is just about 50 miles east of Warsaw. <laughs> That's it. And um, that was really bitter, really, really bitter beer. But this. This is a lot more malty. Maybe the pills from Perla will be a lot bitter, a lot more bitter. But you'll have to check out the reviews of the two beers. Uh, they'll be on YouTube by now, by the time I post this video. So have a look at the Perla pills and the Nami Slow pills. But yeah, this is much lighter. This is much more malt forward. Let's dive in. Cheers, everybody. Oh yeah, yeah. Sorry, itchy ear. Um, There's a certain level of sweetness in this beer. It's a strange kind of like like it's been artificially sweetened. Um, probably hasn't. It's probably the malt. I mean, I got the I got the malt in the aroma. I'm certainly getting the malt in the taste. But it's quite a um. Hmm. I mean. They brewed this for the British market or the 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 English speaking market, which could be America as well. I mean, is that what they what, what the this Polish brewery think we want is is sweet lager? I mean, it's a funny thing. I mean, I'm not a fan of sweet beers myself. See, that's why I'm making this point. Um, 
I much prefer a really good pilsner with good bitterness on it. Carbonation pushes the beer on the inside of the mouth. It's grainy and malty. Sweet. But not much bitterness. Really, really not that much bitterness. I mean, I suppose what they've tried to do here is, is, is make a crushable, a crushable beer. A beer that you can just whack back, drink back at the barbecue. The only other beer I've had from Perla was the famous honey, honey lager, which I think is probably one of their best selling beers is the honey lager because um, whenever I see Perla, it's always the, the Perla honey, honey lager. Right, where would I drink this? Actually, um, as I do a lot of my reviews now at kind of like nine o'clock in the morning, I'm actually going to a barbecue this afternoon. Um, and I've actually got some German sausage. I've got some big German, what's the name of the Bock? The big large German sausage. I, I'm a big fan of it, but the, the name escapes me. Um, I'm gonna go up there, I'm gonna slice one in half, and I'm gonna stick it on their barbecue. Well, loads of mustard and, and a big bread roll. And I suppose if I had this in my hand, I mean, I could always nip back round the shop and pick up some more. Um, yeah, it would go down pretty well. It would go down pretty well. I would prefer a bit of beer. I would prefer a Pilsner. Much prefer a Pilsner. But for what this is, if you're a lover of slightly sweet lagers, then, then this could be right up your street. But it's okay. It's okay. What I'd like to know is, is this now owned by one of the big... Um, Pearl Export is the quintessential flavour, fragrance and colour of the Lublin region recognised throughout the world. Cool. Pearl Brody Lebelski, Lublin. So there's no... There's no Zivich on the can, so this could be, this could be, well, fingers crossed, an, an independent brewery in Poland, which would be really cool. They've been brewing since 1846, 1846. Perlin Export, let's rate it. Looks good, smells good. If you like a sweet beer, it'll be for you. But this isn't quite for me, it's too sweet for my taste buds. I like it enough to give it, me personally, a 6 out of 10. 6 out of 10 from Real Ale Craft Beer. Please put your comments in the comments box, subscribe to our daily beer and food reviews, give us a big fat thumbs up. Boom! Cheers!